Members of the diplomatic corps concluded their visits to different parts of the country by going to the Volcanoes National Park and its 604 mountain gorillas. Local communities living around the park say conserving it has brought them many blessings. Local residents have changed the way they see things after realizing just how lucrative tourism can be. When poaching was still rife, children did not go to school, and yet they now do. There was no development, no water. We have gotten roads, electricity, schools and a health center. The diplomats were impressed by what they saw. There is no security problem as the national security organs ensure that it is properly maintained and it is good. So there is no problem. This was my second time to visit the gorillas, but it was completely different. And uh, so uh, a different way of hiking, uh, a different family, a different story. And uh, so it's, uh, my message is it's worthwhile not just to rush in and do one thing quickly, but to take all your time to visit the world. Driving at night, we saw men and children and women little kids, uh, day and night, uh, nobody seems to be um, in, uh, in a situation where they're afraid of being around at dark. So I think, uh, in general, I think we had uh, good security. Rwanda's Minister of Foreign Affairs and International Cooperation believes the visits around the country by the diplomats are very beneficial. Well, the expectation is that, first of all, that they understand Rwanda better. And number two, that they, re they, they report firsthand what they have seen, not relying on third parties, because normally they sit in Kigali and they receive reports from all sorts of people, sometimes uh, from other places. But now they have seen uh, what the country is about. So, and third, uh, we expect, uh, of course, uh, their participation in bringing more tourists to the Volcanoes National Park has continued to be a major tourist attraction and the country's environmental conservation efforts in the park have also been commended.